The workspace in a, in a lot of the Adobe programs can be pretty intimidating the first time you enter into it. Uh, so this movie is going to be all about just showing you basically what this interface is and how we're going to focus on just certain parts of it so that you won't, uh, well, basically so your head won't explode. Uh, what I'd like to start with is looking at just the overall desktop layout itself. And so pretty much all Adobe programs will have give you the ability to change um, what your desktop looks like. If you go up to the very top menu bar, mine currently says Essentials, it's right next to the search field, uh, you can drop that menu and you can choose from any of these different categories you like and you can even create your own custom desktop or as they call it, workspace. Uh, however, I'm going to be demonstrating and I usually use Essentials, so I am going to make sure that is selected. If it's not selected, then I can select it. Or if yours doesn't look like mine does, then you can go down here and reset Essentials and that will take it back to its beginning place. So let me just walk you through this. Over here on the left is the Tools window. So as you can see, there is a boatload O Tools. Um, all of these Adobe programs uh, are very intensive and have a great amount of functionality. So we are just going to skim the surface in this class and then if you like what you learn or want to learn more then there are other resources you can go to. So I'll come back to these just kind of as we need them. Now over here on the right side is the one of the new features of Illustrator and this is the properties window and this is really great. This will change depending on what tool you have active and what you have active within your layout. Um, it makes it very easy for you to do a lot of modifications without even having to go anywhere near another tool or from a drop down menu. So this is going to become your best friend. Now also in this panel over here are a couple of other tabs which I'll cover briefly. Um, one is the Layers tab. So if you've ever used Photoshop then you're familiar with layers. Well you can use layers here in Illustrator 2 and there will be a, a movie on this later on that will show you how to utilize it. So that's a really nice feature. Libraries. Pretty much all of the Adobe programs now give you access to libraries that you create. So this is a library I've made just for 317 um, so that I can easily get to colors that I can use over and over. But you can keep other things in here like images and typefaces and stuff like that. Uh, but for now let's just stick with properties. And then lastly there are all of these menus at the top. And as you click and roll over these, you know, you're going to start to glaze over because you're going to go, oh my God. In fact, this one doesn't even fit on the screen. So, but don't worry about it. We're only going to use those that we need. And most of these can actually be accessed in other ways, um, either through the tools window or these uh, property windows over here. The different teachers for this class have different philosophies. Um, some will want you to learn keystrokes right away, and I don't disagree with that. Using keystrokes will really speed up your, your workflow. But I tend to, when I'm teaching, show you on the menu where you can get these, and then I will mention the keystroke. So I don't like to overwhelm you too much with, uh, with information that you will eventually want, but maybe aren't quite ready for. So things that you find doing often, like zoom in and zoom out, which we're going to talk about in the next movie, you know, you might want to note that the keystrokes for these are Command or Control Plus and Command or Control Minus, depending whether you're on a Mac or a PC. Uh, but that will be up to you to just integrate that when you are comfortable doing so. And the more you do so, you'll find the quicker you can work. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up this movie. So uh, I'll see you soon.